Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be decorating this little hall table I have. And if you've watched some of my summer videos already, you know that I'm going for a coastal feel. So we're going to get started and make this look really nice for summer. Well, here's a little overview of some of the pieces I do plan to use on my table. A lot of this stuff I did have in my beach decor collection, but those dandelion stems are a new purchase from Michaels this year, and it was buy one, get one free. And I just thought they'd be perfect for beach decor. I love the grassy feel, and I just think they're so pretty and neutral. And then that lantern is also from Michaels this year, and I think it just gives off coastal boho vibes, and I thought it would look really perfect in this space. So I was excited to find those items and then I love the seagull picture I think it'll look perfect the first thing I wanted to do was just place this rattan placemat and I just wanted to break up some of the black on the table and then I have this beautiful blue vase I got this from winners a few years ago I love the shape and the color of it and I really wanted to incorporate it into this decor and then I'm just taking these really big dandelion stems and just um, bending them just because I didn't want them quite as tall as they were but I didn't want to cut them in case I do want to use them on another project and I want the height so I love these because they do have the metal wire in them so you can just bend them and place them however you want them and I just thought three would be perfect one on each side and then one in the middle just to balance out this big vase I love those mirrored glass pictures I do have on the wall behind this table. I've had them here for a long time just because I feel like they do go with every decor season. So I just feel like they're a great neutral piece to have in the space. And this is how the vase looks with those stems in it. I just love the height and the shape and just the texture from that boho placemat. So I think it looks really good and I think this is a great starting point for our vignette. Let me know what you think of these stems. I think they're really original and I have never seen them at Michael's before and they only had a few left so I think I did end up getting the last four that they had in stock. I was thinking how I wanted to decorate this table. This chippy vase came to mind and I've had this for quite some time and I do pull it out for many seasons just because it is such a neutral piece. And I knew I wanted to add some beach glass and shells to this. And I know in the summer we love to collect beach glass at the beach and shells and it just totally reminds me of being at the lake and summers. So I thought this would be the perfect addition to this little chippy vase. Let me know in the comments if you're a beach person or a lake person, whatever you have close to you. I know that I am. We love to spend our summers at the beach as much as possible. Although the water doesn't tend to get warm here in Canada, probably until closer to the end of July. It takes quite a while for it to heat up depending on the weather, but it's always such a fun family trip when we do go to the lake. I think shells are another great piece to use in any kind of beach decor and this big shell was from the Dublin Mercantile and it was $9.99 and I just love the gold accents on it. So I really do like how the top of this table does look. I think it's really pretty and simple and I just love those pops of that blue. And then moving on to the bottom of the shelf, I have this really chippy, almost farmhouse tray. It's actually meant to be a tray, but I thought I would just prop it up against the wall to cover that socket. And then I thought it would be really pretty just to layer this seagull pitcher right into the middle of it. Whenever I think of the beach or the lake too, I always think of seagulls. I feel like whenever I hear a seagull, it instantly takes me to the lake. And we have so many here in Canada. I don't know if you have a lot where you are, but they're always scavenging for food. So that always makes me think of the lake. And then I'm going to use that new lantern that I got from Michael's. I think it's perfect. I love how light and airy it is. And I also love that you can place a candle in this just to create some ambiance. And if you know me, you know I'm all about that. So I'm just going to add one of my flameless flickering lights um, to this and it's just going to look so pretty in the evenings. Because I use this color on the top of this table, I thought I would incorporate it into the bottom as well. And I just had these two vases. They were from HomeSense a few years ago. And I think they were relatively inexpensive, but I just love that color. And then just to bring a little bit of greenery into it to tie in the dandelion stems from up top, I thought I would just add this really cute um, container with the greenery. Thank you. 
so this is a completed look I think it looks really sweet and I think it really does say coastal decor and I'm just really happy with how everything came together sometimes when you're thinking of a space at least for me I really have to envision how I want to place things and I do end up a lot of the time creating a plan before I make a video so I don't want anyone to think that I just freehand everything and just know exactly where to put things I tend to play with my decor a bit but just to make the videos go smooth um, I get an idea of how I want everything to be placed before and it's just trial and error and trying new things but that's a fun part of decorating so here's a little clip of Holstein and I'm showing this beautiful sign. One of my sweet friends who's also a subscriber, she sent me this beautiful sign in the mail and it came quite a distance and I'm just so blessed that she took the time to purchase this for me in Holstein and send it and I'm just so grateful. She's just such a sweet person and she's blessed my life so immensely with all of her sweet comments and emails and I feel like she didn't have to do this at all but it was just so thoughtful and kind so thank you so much friend I'm so appreciative of it and me and Holstein just love it I can't wait to find a spot for this but I'm already thinking where I can put it and I just think it's so adorable and it just means so much that you took the time to send it so thank you and to all of you I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I can't wait to talk to you on the next video until the next one friends take care god bless